All right, folks, so this is the Vivo Active 4 from Garmin, and specifically, this is the Vivo Active 4S. So this is gonna be the smaller 40 millimeter version of the two, and other than the size, the 45 millimeter version is gonna be virtually exactly the same. So in this video, I wanna give you my first impressions of the device, also show you some up-close shots so you can see some of the details, also show you how the two-button configuration as well as the touchscreen works, and I also wanted to give you an interface tour of like the widgets, the menus, the activity profiles, but the thing I wanted to show you the most was those animated workouts. I was really curious how these were gonna look, especially on the smaller version with the 1.1 inch display and 218 by 218 pixels, because it's not like a ton of screen real estate. And I've tested some of these before and the animations and diagrams on some of those other devices were kind of like, eh, they're okay. But I was kind of impressed with how Garmin implemented them. And I won't list off all the new features in this video because I already did that video yesterday. So if you want details on that, I'll have the video linked up here as well as the description below. And if you do find this video useful, make sure to hit that like button down below as it definitely helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it. Inside the box, you're gonna get the watch itself. And then inside the box, inside the box, you're gonna get an instruction manual, safety instructions, as well as a charging cable. So this is gonna be the slate version that I chose and the watch itself is pretty darn attractive. And then there's gonna be the charging port as well as the new Elevate heart rate sensor that also does have the SpO2 sensor that can help monitor your blood oxygen levels. And then there's also gonna be the color match clasp with a pretty nice, comfortable stock band. With the new two button configuration, the top key is gonna be your start, pause, enter, and confirm key. And then the bottom key is gonna be your back and your lap key. And then you'll use the touch screen to navigate throughout the rest of the device. And then having the two buttons rather than the single button on the Vivo Active 3 and the Vivo Active 3 Music, it's just gonna make things a lot easier to get around on the device. So if we swipe up, you're gonna see a My Day widget, which is gonna show the activities that you did on that day. It's gonna show your intensity minutes for the week. Floors climbed because it will be able to track this because it does have a built-in altimeter. And then it's going to have your steps, your calories, as well as your hydration widget. And you use the little plus and minus symbols right here to adjust this. And then what's kind of cool is that when you do hit your goal, it'll actually have this nice little animation that fills up the screen with water, little cup, and goal. So let's go ahead and back out of there for a second. Next one's going to be your health stats, your heart rate, stress level, body battery, and respiration. And then here's going to be activity history for the week. And then here's gonna be heart rate widget. I haven't worn this in the last three hours. So that's why it's not showing anything right there. Body battery and then the hydration widget again. So those basically widgets are gonna be inside the My Day widget as well. And then here's gonna be the calendar widget. So if we click on this, it'll show your upcoming events. Here's what a single event looks like. Let's go ahead and back out of there. Weather widget, it'll show the highs and lows for the day. If we click on this, it'll show quite a few hours ahead. And then if we swipe up quite a few days ahead, and then if we go to the next widget, here's gonna be the notification. So here's what a YouTube notification will look like. And then while we're at it, I'll send a text message just so you can see what that looks like. So if we click on that, so it actually shows quite a bit of text even for being the 1.1 inch screen. So if we swipe up, we can just clear it. And then if you have this paired with an Android phone, here's what the predefined text responses look like. And these are the ones that you're gonna set up in Garmin Connect Mobile. So the next widget is going to be your music widget. And if you don't have any music loaded onto the device with any of the music providers, it'll actually control the music that's playing on your phone. And then here's gonna be a standalone steps widget. And some of these may seem a little bit redundant because some of them may be contained in something like the My Day widget. So you can actually just long press here. You can actually remove the widget if you want to. And then the next widget is gonna be your intensity minutes. And then you're gonna have your last activity and it'll just show your last run right here. Floors climbed again. Again, you can remove that if you want to. Here's gonna be your stress, calories again. And then this is gonna be your last run widget, last ride widget, last swim widget, and then last golf widget, as well as, this says last sport, but this is actually last strength training widget. And then the next widget is gonna be your Varia widget, which will be able to control a Garmin Varia light. So this is actually just a lot more than a light. It's actually a radar as well. We have a video about this here in the future. And then your next widget is going to be Garmin Coach. And this is where you're going to be able to control the coaching plan that you'll set up in Garmin Connect Mobile. And then this is going to be your SpO2 widget, which is going to be your blood oxygen. And then finally, your respiration widget. So if we long press on the bottom button right here, it'll bring up the settings. So here's where you can change your watch face. So let's go and check out the watch faces really quickly. So these are pretty simple for the most part. There's some nice pretty ones in here like uh, this one right here. So let's go ahead and go back into the settings here and then we'll be able to see your clock's history. And then here's gonna be the full setting. So here's where you're gonna be able to adjust different 
settings for different activities. Here's where you're going to see all the widgets. So again, some of these are going to be a little bit redundant. So you can actually remove some of them because like the steps widget is going to be kind of housed within the My Day widget, but there's a lot of customization there basically. And then you're able to control the controls menu and then shortcut. I'm actually going to show you that here in just one second, but then you have watch face, wrist rate, heart rate. Here's where you can add sensors. So here's all the different sensors that you can add. So you can have the headphones, heart rate, speed and cadence sensors, foot pods, temperature sensors, lights, radar, like I just showed you a second ago. And then here's where you can add music providers if you'd like to. So there's Deezer and Spotify. And then there's phone settings such as adjusting your notifications. So you can adjust these for during activity as well as not during activity. So here's an example where you can do show all calls only, calls text, or you can just turn them off completely. And then here's where you can add Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is generally just used for device transfers as well as music transfers. And then here's where you can adjust your user profile if you'd like to. Um, here's going to be the safety and tracking menu. So here's where you can set up instant detection as well as get assistance. And then just like your system settings, which is this is just going to be kind of the boring stuff. But in terms of the display settings, this is going to be interesting for you probably, is that you'll be able to adjust your brightness right here. And then the timeout, I wish they had times on these. This just says short, medium, long, and very long, which is kind of vague. And then here's where you can adjust whether you have gesture control being always on or only during activity or completely off. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you about the shortcut. So if you swipe to the right right here, I've already set this up for music control. So if we go back into the settings really quickly, we can see that what I did was I actually, you can choose what different shortcut you have. So basically there's music control, save location, flashlight, alarms, stopwatch, timer, brightness, wallet, and you can just disable it if you want to. So that's kind of nice to see that there's kind of a quick way to get to a specific function if you want to. Now let's take a look at the activity profile. So if we press the upper right hand button, just single press it right here, we'll be able to see all the activity profile. So we have running, running on the treadmill, indoor track, biking, biking indoors, walking, walking indoors, floor climb, pool swim, golf, skiing and snowboarding, cross country skiing, stand up paddle boarding, strength training, cardio, yoga, Pilates, breath work, elliptical, stair stepper, rowing, rowing indoors, as well as navigation. So the thing I wanted to show you was going to be these animated workouts. So that's going to be on these four different workout profiles right here. So we'll have Pilates, yoga, cardio, and strength. So what I found kind of interesting was that these were a lot more detailed than I thought they were going to be. So to access the animated workouts, you're going to actually need to sync these from Garmin Connect. So basically you'll choose these in Garmin Connect Mobile on your smartphone, and then they'll show up in your workouts. So we click on workouts, it'll have Pilates for runners. We click on this, you'll be able to see the steps throughout the actual workout as well as the times and how long it's basically going to take. And then if we click do workout, it'll kind of just load it up right there. And then if we click the enter button right here, here's where I was pretty impressed. It'll show the type of exercise as well as the time. And then this is just going to be a static stretch right here. So basically it's just going to be a diagram, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So you can actually just press the lap key right here and just you'll move on to the next one. So check out this animation. It's actually pretty darn good and it shows you a pretty good technique. And again, even for being the smaller screen right here, this is pretty usable. So here's what I found is really interesting though, is that this is actually a data page. So basically if we swipe up, it'll have another little kind of data page right here, which is gonna be like a little countdown pie chart sort of thing going around right here. And then if we go up, this is gonna be very familiar with the calories, timer, as well as heart rate. And then here's gonna be your graphical heart rate right there. So it's kind of neat that this is kind of just integrated within the data pages. I really, really like that. And then I'll show you a strength training example right here. And again, I was really impressed by how much detail they actually put in here. So with the perfect arm routine right here, again, you can see your steps if you'd like to. Let's just go ahead and do the workout. And if we press start, it'll have barbell bicep curls. So it shows you to do it like nice and slowly. Again, it's just a nice little data page on the device. And this will actually work with the rep counting right here, which is pretty cool. Again, it's on the table right here, so it's not gonna do the rep counting. So here's what I was really impressed by was how much detail they actually have in these animations. So you'll notice that there's a slight bend in the person's legs right there. It's a nice wide stance. So there's a lot of detail that they put in here. And then finally, I wanted to show you how this compares size-wise to the original Galaxy Watch Active, the Vivo Active 3 Music, as well as the 4 245.
All right, so that's just the first impressions of the Vivac 4 and the 4S specifically. I'm pretty impressed by the build quality. It's a very attractive device. I do really like the two button configuration rather than the one on the Vivaco 3 and the Vivaco 3 Music. I think it makes it a lot more usable. But like usual, I'll be testing this for as many things as I can possibly do on it. So make sure to subscribe to get a notification when that video comes out. And if you did find this video useful or informative, or if you just liked it, go ahead and hit that like button down below and we will see you in the next video.